What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is the gaming slash YouTube setup unbox. I'm not unboxing, what am I talking about? Just the setup, the gaming slash YouTube setup video that I was gonna make. And I'm also gonna be uh, announcing the winner of the keyboard. So uh, we'll get to that whenever we get to the keyboard. So basically this is my setup as an overview. For some reason, this camera looks a bit zoomed in, but I guess that's how it looks. So we're gonna start off I don't know, from left to right? What do you say? All right, let's start off from left to right. We're gonna get through this relatively, or I'm gonna try to get through this quickly. So, we have the PS4 right here, as you guys can see. Uh, and right there is a, an external hard drive. I don't know if you guys can see it back there. Uh, I did try to, you know, dust everything a little bit, but you might find a little, a couple, you know, molecules or whatever you call the dust. So we have the PS4. Uh, a USB hub because I ran out of USB ports as you guys saw. I think I've mentioned that in like two other videos. We have the internet router back there, a Netgear something, I don't know what it's called. We've had it for a couple of years now. I'm still a little bit sick so if you guys see just some random cuts that means I had to pause to cough or something. We have the Turtle Beach Stealth 700, it came out like a month ago around there. I did make an unboxing and a setup slash uh, settings video. I'm gonna have a full review coming soon and possibly one a video comparing it to this one, the uh, Steel Series Arctis 7. DualShock 4, uh, just a normal controller, just with the color digital urban or just urban camo. I like how those look. Uh, we have the monitor here. This is a 32 inch curved Samsung CF391. It's full HD. Uh, I would have rather had maybe a 27 inch 1440p monitor or 4K at uh, 144 hertz, but this one's only 60 hertz. It gets the job done for casual gaming, but I would like to upgrade later in the later sometime. Little random Android here. And then we move on to the beast where everything happens. Uh, I don't have my laptop here right now, it's not on the desk. Uh, I could actually go grab it right now, but this is where most of the editing happens. If you guys see, maybe, well, I'd say 75% of the videos are edited here, and the other 25% are maybe edited on my laptop, which I take to school and I edit over there, but most of the videos are edited here. We have a Core i7, 7700K, KB Lake processor, a GTX 1070, 16 gigs of RAM, Corsair Vengeance, uh, RGB RAM. They, they light up. I have them right now blue and white because those are probably my two favorite colors. Uh, blue blue and white or white and black are my favorite color combos. We have a couple of Corsair ML140 uh, fans right there. This is from CyberPower PC, that's why you see the little branding right there in the inside and on the outside right there with the lightning bolt. Uh, beast of a computer, I've had it for seven months now, a little over seven months now. Haven't had an issue with it, knock on wood. Uh, hopefully nothing goes wrong with it. I'm gonna try to add an SSD sometime in the future. As you can see it has three empty bays right there. Three empty, three empty slots for SSDs, hopefully in the future. Moving right along, as you can see right here, we have an NZXT puck. That's that thing right there, I don't know if it's straight. If you guys have OCD, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, we have an NZXT puck, same brand as the, as the case. And we also have a SteelSeries Arctis 7 gaming headset on there, which is about 150 bucks, I think. It came out a couple months ago. It, ca it costs the same as the Turtle Beach Stealth 700, but I do like this one better, and I'll probably show that in a video coming soon. Uh, I'll compare the two. And we have the Razer Mamba uh, Gaming Mouse. This is the Tournament Edition. So far, I've had no issues with it, but I hear that a lot of people have like sensor issues where the, where the mouse just freezes while like in the middle of a match, it just, completely freezes and annoys people, messes their game up. I haven't had an issue with it, like I said, but uh, something to look into when planning on purchasing it. The mouse pad down here, which also has RGB lighting, is the Razer Firefly. So this came out a couple years ago, I think, or maybe last year, but it's about $40, $45 right now. Hell of a mouse pad. Uh, it's very smooth and it looks very nice. So definitely worth the purchase. A little expensive, but I think it's worth it. And now to the keyboard. So this is the Rosewill Neon K85 mechanical gaming keyboard. It has blue kill switches, RGB lighting, of course. It is mechanical, like I said. That's how it sounds. I made an unboxing and a review of it, and I'm probably gonna make a couple other videos with it. Uh, so, like I said, I was gonna announce the winner. By the way, it also has uh, lighting on the sides, as you can see. Uh, I was gonna announce the winner, and the winner is... 
Yep, the, the magic number was 59 and I had a whole bunch of people guessing different numbers. Some people got close, someone got like 57 or something. Uh, but Keys hit it right on the spot on his first try. Well actually if you, if you guessed more than once you were automatically disqualified. But Keys only guessed once and it was 59, he guessed it right on the spot. So, congratulations. I'm gonna contact, I'm gonna try to contact Keys sometime this week and hopefully get the keyboard to him uh, as fast as possible. So again, congratulations to Keys. I don't know your real name, but that's your YouTube username. So, congrats for winning the keyboard, man. So now moving right along, by the way, I'm gonna try to have a couple more of these giveaways in the future, so stay on the lookout for those. All right, so moving down to the bottom. By the way, let me just take a little moment here. So this happened earlier this week, but I, I haven't mentioned it because the videos that came out uh, this week, the three videos I think that have come out, have been recorded before this. I just happened to edit it after this happened. But look at where we're at. That's our channel right there, and that's how many subscribers we have. We've grown so much in the last couple of weeks, it's insane. I just, it had me speechless for, I mean, it's I'm still speechless right now, and we're still growing, so I just wanna thank you guys for that, and I wanna do more giveaways like these uh, in the future because you guys are honestly what make this happen. Let's try to hit that big 700 by the end of the year. I'm sure it's possible, but I'm definitely happy with what we have now, so thank you guys. So moving down over here, there's no drawers in here, I don't know why they're missing. They've been missing for a long time, but here we have the games. Basically, these are the ones I've had for the past couple months, years probably. Uh, the newest one is probably The Division, but that's not mine, it's my nephew's. I'm just borrowing from borrowing it from him uh, for a while until I pass it. I do have my blue Yeti microphone back there. I, I check it out whenever I'm going to record. Just put it on the desk and then put it back uh, put it back down here whenever I'm done using it. We have a can of compressed air to dust my computer and components. Uh, just a couple of chargers, nothing too special down here. This is where the party happens. We have a bunch of cables and a bunch of dust. I really need to clean down there. But right there, that's where I have my little receiver for the RGB lighting. The LEDs around the desk, which I haven't talked about. Let me, they start down there and then they come over here. They go down under and then they come all around over there. And they end over here, uh, right there. If I sound tired, that's because I am. Uh, it's really hot, it's gonna be 100 degrees, it's, it was 93 today, and then it's gonna be 100 tomorrow and Tuesday. That's Los Angeles for you. But I think that's been the, um, the not unboxing, I was gonna say unboxing again. That's been the full uh, setup tour, I think. Did I go over everything? I'm still trying to figure out, you know, how to, how I want to manage the cables, because that's definitely not pretty. I mean, it could be a lot worse, I have some of them controlled with little twisty ties and stuff, but they could be a lot better. Back here I have a little tripod, well not little, it's a tripod I use whenever, like when I'm gonna unbox and stuff. And I have a couple other things, so let me just pull those out real quick. I still have the Rosewell box right there for the keyboard. So right here, uh, this is my laptop, this is where 25% of the editing happens. I have a Turtle Beach sticker, which looks really nice, and a Razer sticker, Razer Chroma sticker. So this is the Dell Inspiron 7000 2016 model. It has an i5 6200 KB, no not KB, like a uh, Skylake processor from 2016, obviously. Um, it still gets a job done, there's no really, not really a need to upgrade. I could edit 1440p video like nothing. 4K though, it will, it, it'll crash whenever I try to edit 4K. I don't know why, but it just happens. Whenever I plan on recording here, I make sure that the video size is 1440p, the resolution, of course. And I record in 4K whenever I'm gonna edit the videos right here. So, this could edit 4K, this could edit 1440p. Right here, this is just in an Amazon Basics, what is it, like little cable accessory case. So, on the side right here, we have a lens for the phone. It's like a wide-angle lens from Aki. I made a video about it a couple months ago. I don't use it on the Note 8 because since this thing has two cameras, you know, it's not really... I don't know, I just haven't tried it, but I, whenever I record with the G3, if you guys see the Note 8, like on cam, like right here when I'm showing it, that means I'm recording with either the G3 or the G flags that I have, and I'm probably using this thing. Uh, and I have a little, like, a couple other tripods, this thing to put the, the phone in so I can mount it on the tripod because the phone doesn't have those uh, tripod mounts. A couple little tripods right here. I think this one just broke. Yeah, something's missing right there. It's right there in that piece. So gotta put that back together. I have a little cloth right here for the lens and I have a huge 
I have a huge cloth right here that's more for like the monitor or I basically use it to clean my Note 8s because if you touch anything on the Note 8, fingerprint. That's it. That's that's easy as that. Even while, while wiping it, it's really easy to get fingerprints on it even if you're not trying. So I just I just put the phone in there, completely wrap it and then just rub it <laughs> until it's completely fingerprint free, especially the back part and then I put on the case. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this is probably longer than I thought. I was trying to trying to make this pretty short, but yeah, just a random staples uh, stapler, which I also have on the desk here. So anyway, I have a couple B-roll shots right here. Thank you guys again for 634 subscribers. I mean, that's that's insane. I've grown like so much in the past couple months. I just want to thank you guys once again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Congratulations again to Keys for winning the Razer Neon K85 gaming keyboard. Uh, hopefully I could have more giveaways in the future, like I said. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.